So hey guys, what's up? Here is Neko and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to create this amazing effect. Somebody commented and requested for this tutorial, so here it is. We will be needing a plugin called Twitch and also RSMB, but RSMB is optional. The project file can also be found in the description below. In my composition here, I have an audio layer and I have placed my clips according to the beat and also time map them without picture. Since they are not a part of our today's tutorial, so we are just gonna skip them. These are the composition settings I'm working with right now. You can choose any resolution you want but the frame rate should be the same or you can even choose 30 frames per second that's basically the same. Firstly, we will create an adjustment layer above our clips and we will add twitch to it. Now change the speed to 100 and click on the stopwatch next to amount. Now press Q on your keyboard to see all the keyframes. Go 2 frames back from your beat and create a keyframe. Go 4 to 5 frames forward from the beat and add one more keyframe. Make sure to change the values of first and the last keyframe to 0. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now I will be editing my twitch settings. Enable blur, light, scale and slide. You can play around with these settings to get the result you need but I won't be changing them. Now just follow me. Now select the keyframes, go to the graph editor and follow me. You can stretch the graph to change the speed and duration for which the twitch occurs. Now just copy the second clip and paste it above itself. Press S on your keyboard to open up the scale panel and click the stopwatch next to it. Go 8 to 10 frames ahead and change its value to 170. Now press T on your keyboard to open up the opacity panel and once again go to the beat. Now click the stopwatch and go 15 frames ahead and change its value to 0. Now press U, select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now select the scale keyframes, go to the graph editor and follow me. Now add invert to the clip. You can change the channel to any one of these you like but for the sake of tutorial I am using red. You can also change the position of the clip to your liking by pressing P on your keyboard and changing the values. Now it's not a part of the tutorial but I will also be adding a pump transition so just follow along. One more thing you can do is adding RSMB to the clips. For that just select everything except the audio layer and pre-compose them with these settings. And then add RSMB to it. Now change the settings as I am doing and you are done. If you have any tutorial request then comment it down below and if you have any idea for the content then comment that too. 
check out my other tutorials and AMVs. If this video helps you, then make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Stay home, stay safe, see you in the next video, Neko signing out.